Hi folks, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video Channel. And what we're doing on our channel, if this is your first time here, we're taking cars from Pixar cars and we're painting them different colors. Some people wanted me to do a zebra series, that's why I have Zebra Jackson Storm, Zebra Lightning McQueen, Zebra Mater, Zebra Doc Hudson, Zebra Chick Hicks, Zebra the King, Zebra Sir Miles Axelrod, and Zebra Sarge. And of course, this is what started it all, Primer McQueen. In Cars 3, there's one scene in Cars 3 where Lightning McQueen is painted primer after his big crash. Remember he looked like this after his big crash? And when they fixed him up, he was primer. And because of that, we started painting, we actually made Primer McQueen, a couple of them actually. And then we started painting all the other cars and making all kinds of cars. Look what we have here now. We have, um, this is from the Crazy 8 series. It's Fair Game, number 42, the taxi. Bill, number 86. Sig Alert, that's actually Ramon, uh, one of my favorites, Jimbo, it's actually Major, and his wheels keep falling off still, I have to fix them on sometime. And over here we've got Pushover, and Taco, the pickup truck, we have Pile Up, APB, which is actually Boost, see the Boost things in the back, and T-Bone, look, T-Bone, and there's High Impact over here, um, the Ambulance, Dr. Damage, which is actually TJ with a roof rack cut off. And there's Arby, Fillmore, and uh, Brad's had the pickup truck, which I also made out of Ivan, who looks like Mater. Remember that? I cut the tow hook off and everything. And over here we have Hit and Run, the two twin cars that are actually two gremlins. Hit and Run. They came out the best. Wow, they're perfect. And over here I made um, a Hulk. This is somebody requested I make the Hulk out of Leakless. And in the background here we have... Spider McQueen, which is actually one of my bigger cars, converted to a Spider-Man outfit. Uh, Radiator Springs Mater, Radiator Springs Doc, pretty cool. And this is from um, Chester Whipper Filter, it's actually Lightning McQueen, with real sand on them. I made them myself at a Lightning McQueen. And over here we have, uh, this is number 20, Cruz Ramirez, or Francis Beltline, that's homemade. And this one here is Storm Ramirez, Jackson Storm with number 2.0 on the side. That's to get lightning to help them race faster. And look at her. These are the delinquent road hazards. DJ, not painted yet. Still waiting for a good idea. Wingo, uh, wasn't very popular. The Bumpy, I uh, got another idea. I'll repaint him. Uh, Snot Rod is right here. He's actually Dom from that movie I mentioned before. And over here we have, wait, now where's, oh yeah, and there's Boost is right there. He's APB. And back here we have Lightning McQueen. Uh, actually, fabulous Lightning McQueen in memory or honor of Doc Hudson. And here we have fabulous Cruiser Mirrors in honor of Doc Hudson. And over here we have Next Gen Lightning McQueen. It's actually Jackson Storm converted over for the next race in Cars 4. And over here we have, believe it or not, this is Lightning McQueen in Jackson Storm colors. It's pretty cool. And over here we have a combination of, uh, that's Cruiser Mirrors, half Lightning and half Jackson Storm. What do you think of that? And this one here, it's a Vitaline, a Chase Race a lot, I believe. That's actually Jeff Corvette. And over here we have uh, uh, some Rainbow cards. We have Rainbow Lightning McQueen, somebody requested that. And we have Rainbow Fillmore, someone requested that. And this is one of my homemade ones, All American USA Ramon, red, white, and blue with yellow stars on it. And we have Crazy, um, this is Frank for Halloween. And we can't forget Miss Fritter. Rainbow Miss Fritter on one side, close your eyes and Zebra Miss Fritter on the other side. That came pretty good. So sorry for the long intro folks, but some people are the first times here, first time here and they want to see what we're doing. And we're taking cars like this one here, for example, Nitro Aid. I have a couple of Nitro Aids and I'm going to turn Nitro Aid into Airborne. It doesn't quite look like it, but I'm going to see what it looks like when I'm finished. Um, first thing I'm going to do is prime it and it looks like all the windows are painted over and the number 90 is on the side. We'll cover this whole thing with primer paint and then come back and put our yellow on the front, green in the middle, blue in the back, some yellow stripes and number 90 on the side and paint the wheels and tires. Okay, first thing we'll do is set up our paint. Let's get that ready now and we'll get our primer out. Okay, we're all set to go. We got our paint booth set up. Paint booth. Paint area set up and I'm just going to grab uh, uh, the brush. I'm going to put a full coat of primer and I'm going to do the windows too because they're all painted over on uh, on Airborne and thanks to the person who sent me that suggestion I have to look these cars up whenever you tell me to make one I have no idea what what these cars are so um, uh oh, I just realized there's no spoiler on that car so just give me one second I'm just gonna chop it off right down 
Oh, but I'll get too much paint on me. But I'll try to make it a little bit authentic. There, spoiler gone. And that's about it for all we can do to the car. Okay, now I, I can paint all my fingers now. That's okay, I'll do it again. Um, that's okay. Anyway, thanks to the person who said airborne. I also have a few more cars here. Look, I got, um, somebody keeps wanting me to do chimichanga. I got a car for that ready to go. And there's one more, liability. That looks like Ramon to me, so I'm gonna do a Ramon like liability. And I still didn't finish my Christmas set, don't worry. I still have to do Mater with reindeer antlers at a play doll. Oops, I'll figure that out when I get a chance. I'm gonna use Q-tips to hold them in place. Not Q-tips, uh, toothpicks to hold them in place with Play-Doh wrapped around them so they look like they belong on Mater's. Right, and I'm gonna have a big red nose. But that'll be a really short video to make Mater, so I'm not gonna make that a, a great big thing. I'm just gonna do it as part of a video. I'll have the whole thing set up. Lightning, I mean, uh, Santa McQueen, Mrs. Santa Claus, which is Sally, and Mater pulling a sleigh. And I have to figure out what to use for a sleigh. I looked through all my boxes of stuff here and I couldn't find anything that resembles a sleigh yet. I guess I could use Red as a sleigh. Or Frank! How about I use Frank as a sleigh? That'd be pretty crazy. But, you know, I'll do what I can. We'll pretend we took over the sleigh. Took over Frank to use as a sleigh. Hmm. Or, how about the Screaming Banshee? No, he's too big. Okay, let's leave that dry in the, sun, in the heat lamp, folks, and we'll come back and we'll put our green on the front and this is only going to take one coat of primer and then we'll put the colors on. Then we have to put two coats of the colors on to get it nice and deep. We'll leave that dry come back in a few minutes. So there's Primer Nitroid. Anybody interested what it looks like? Primer Nitroid. Okay it looks like uh, Nitroid, I mean uh, Airborne is dry. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some yellow paint right here and we're going to paint the front third of the car yellow. Just like that see? And the both wheels uh, one on each side and the front are yellow. Okay, so here we go. Try and make it as nice as I can. I might even put two coats on it because this is going on pretty watery. So I'm definitely going to put two coats of yellow on here. No point in even trying to do it one coat. I'll try, but it's not going to work. Put yellow on the wheels. And there's actually black specks all around the tires when I finish this here. That came really nice. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit on here for then I'll put some blue in the back so I'll have to um, leave them all dry but I'll put some yellow on this wheel I may have to put two coats on these wheels too and the tires of course I'll fix them up okay so that's pretty much it for the yellow just a third of the way and blue in the back let's try the blue oh it's a nice blue too okay I got another brush Okay, I'm only going to do the back, so I won't worry about the middle until the front and back dry. I'll put that away to dry. Okay, blue's going to be all through here. Ooh, that looks nice. Really nice blue. I still have to put two coats on though, because um, I want it to look relatively decent. And the middle of the roof is the, the dividing line between the yellow, I mean between the green and the blue. So I'm just going to stop right in the middle. Okay, that's where it goes, right along the wheel. And the back wheels are blue too, on both sides. I looked online and sure enough, they, uh, I don't have the actual car, so I'm going by pictures. Okay, that came pretty neat. Okay, now I'll turn on the other side, see how it looks. Oh yeah, I missed a lot, okay. This came really nice, that color. And again, thanks you guys for all your suggestions. I keep saying that over and over again, but if it wasn't for you guys sending in the ideas, I wouldn't know what to make half the time, so I really appreciate that. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this dry and come back and put the green on in a few minutes and then we'll put two coats on everything else. Okay, they're pretty dry now. Now, let's put the green on. I got some nice neon green here. Wow, that's nice. Okay, and I'm gonna slop that on, literally, between these two colors, yellow and blue, and then I'm gonna put the second coat on after that. Gee, it's going on nice. I had to put some more yellow down there. I missed a spot. That's okay though. Gee, it's going on nice, but it's not spreading very good. Maybe it needs a second coat for sure. Okay, that's no problem. And I got the green right down over, right down over his eyes and under his eyes. It's 
to Herbert. Wow, that was pretty cool. Scary. I don't want to cover the eyes up. Okay. It's taking a little longer than I thought. I thought that would, I could easily put the second coat on, but oh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Let me now put the blue on again. And I'll put the yellow on next. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I'll have to do some touch-ups again. And I'll do the wheels too, I guess. Pull it by the back. It's going on much better second coat. Need more paint. Now you guys try mixed up your paints at home yet? It's not too bad. You get all kinds of different colors. These just happen to be uh, dollar store paints. They come in all different colors. And um, they're very easy to get. Not very expensive. And the brushes are also dollar store brushes. That's why um, they kind of wear out pretty fast. There, that yellow came nice. Now I'll do the blue. There you go. What I'm doing is editing out me washing the brush. That's why there's a stop there. I just go over and wash the brush and come back and I'm all set to go. Actually, it's kind of a blurry blend in there with the green, so I'll have to make the green mesh with that pretty pretty messy if I can. It's not, not perfect, but none of the cars are perfect, I know that, but they look pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to put the green on while the blue's still wet, see if I can get a blur effect. I'm not sure what'll happen. The paint's probably half dry. Oh yeah, it's because it's... Oh, that came nice. See that? I just want to make it messy looking, because it's a really messy looking demolition derby car airborne and I never heard of airborne like I said before I never heard of it until someone mentioned it last night I looked it up I said wow that looks cool can't wait to paint that car that's good there look at that see that's what I want that effect there see the blurriness of it so that's what it looks like in the picture so that looks pretty good guys I'm gonna leave that dry and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put the not the stripe the yellow stripes on the side and the number 90 in yellow then we'll finish it off with red and there's some black spots on the engine hood and we'll see how that looks and number 90 is on the roof too okay cool okay and I need some white paint for putting on the on the wheels okay folks it's pretty dry looking now now we need some white paint here and a little bit of red paint for the number 90 there we go bright red perfect and what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna paint three yellow lines on the back of the car in the outline number 90 on the side, the roof, and the other side. And we'll see how that looks. Okay, got the nice thin brush. I'm gonna try and make three lines starting around here all the way to the back, yellow. There's one more here. And one here. Oh, actually, it only starts right here, right? goes over the wheel okay that's like that one uh, a little darker I guess would be nice and uh, number 90 on the side that's the hard part for me all the time making the letters making the numbers here it goes you ready this will look good when the red fills in around the out fills in the number there nice and on top there's kind of a yellow um, 90 again it's kind of messy but it'll look good when I fill in the red okay and this side okay okay we'll leave that dry and I'll put the red on but now I got to get the white for the tires there's all kinds of specs on the tires so i'm just going to make little dots on the tires like this i'll do the front first then when i come back later do the back ones That's pretty neat. Okay, and on the front of the car, I need some black. A little bit of black paint. Okay, there's some sort of a 
specs on the front. I, I don't have a good picture of the front, but I'm just going to put two dots here and a couple of spots here. And there's two snorkels. I, I can't build the snorkels. I'm just going to make two black circles on the on the engine hood to represent the snorkels. Okay, how's that look? So far, pretty darn good. Now, I forgot to do the yellow on the other side, so I have to put the yellow stripes on now. Okay, here goes the yellow stripes. There's three stripes. One's very high. And one goes around the wheel well. And the other one just goes back here. All right, let's come back in a few minutes when that dries and highlight the number 90 with the red paint. Okay, we're down to the, the final touches. I want to put the little white dots on the back tires now too, first. They're pretty neat. And then we'll put the red highlights inside the number. And yes, I will be doing chimichanga pretty soon and I want to do a liability and you guys keep sending me the ideas I love it okay here goes number 90 in red I hope I can get this really neat perfect nice all right okay just gonna tidy this bottom part up and now the roof. I almost touched the back wheel, it's still wet. Somebody told me my videos are pretty good. <laughs> Thanks very much. Whoever that was, I said, I don't think they're that good. The painting is not very great, but he said they're awesome. And I said, oh, thanks very much. I appreciate that. Okay, and here is the final red highlight. And that will be the end of the car, actually. Now the reason I always give a highlight at the start to show all the creations we're doing is because some people are the first time here watching these videos, believe it or not. I know you guys that are regulars are used to them all, but some guys show up for the first time and don't know what I'm doing, so I always give a little rundown first. Okay folks, that looks like the end. Um, a little bit of, a little bit of green around his, around his head here, around his head, around his eyes. It wasn't dark enough for me. Okay, and especially here. Anyways, okay, let's let this dry and come back and finish up. That looks pretty nice. All right, everybody, there's the actual car, Airborne. And here is our interpretation of Airborne, made from Nitroaid. What do you think? How did it turn out? Not a bad job. It's another custom creation from Kid Friendly Videos. Keep coming back to our channel for more. Make sure you subscribe. There's a button here. Hit the button subscribe to our channel and come on back for more. And uh, if you have any suggestions, please send a comment. Put them in the comment section. Say hi, hit the like, and share with your friends because we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.